What I've got in my hands right here is DJI's new Mavic Air drone. Now I've flown a lot of drones from DJI, but I've got to say this one is probably one of my favorites. Let's check it out. What I really liked about this thing is that it seems like to build it, DJI just looked back on its older drones, cherry picked all the best features, and then just packed them into a new machine. Just like the Mavic Pro, it's got that same hinged arm design that allows the drone to collapse and fold up into this ultra compact package that is super easy to transport. Also like the Mavic Pro, it's equipped with a real physical controller, which is great because it means that you don't have to fly with those annoying virtual joysticks on your smartphone. Better yet, this new controller also has removable sticks, which screw off and can be stored inside the controller itself. It's a small change, but it boosts portability in a big way. Did I mention it also has a 4K camera? Because it does. It's not quite as awesome as the one you'll find on the Mavic Pro, but it's only slightly less capable and it makes up for those shortcomings with an awesome new gimbal that looks strikingly similar to the one you'll find on DJI's Spark. Thanks to its clever design, this new stabilizer rig is actually less likely to take damage if you crash. Arguably the best feature, however, is the Mavic Air's high-end obstacle avoidance system. So whereas the Mavic Pro only has forward and downward vision, the Mavic Air has forward, downward, and backward sensors. On top of that, it also has DJI's new environmental awareness software, which allows the drone to build a virtual 3D map of its surroundings while you fly. So while it doesn't technically have full 360 degree obstacle avoidance sensors on its sides, you can still avoid obstacles to its right and left in some situations. In other words, it's not crash proof, but it's pretty damn close. Last but not least, the Mavic Air is equipped with a huge suite of intelligent flying modes, including DJI's new and improved active track mode, as well as a couple new quick shot modes that make getting awesome cinematic shots easier than ever. So to recap, this thing is ridiculously portable, it flies like a dream, it has a dedicated controller, it shoots in 4K, it has excellent obstacle avoidance, and it comes with a boatload of intelligent flying modes. All that and it's only 800 bucks. What more could you ask for?